Sorry that took so long. I was eating crackers. They were yummy. Hi. Hi, Rose. Hi, Anthony. Your message has vanished very quickly because I switched to the scene as soon as you <laughs> typed in chat. This is so sad. Okay, it's time for Leighton's train game. Is this loud? This is loud. Okay, there we go. Is this too loud? Is this quiet? Is this loud? I never have any- I never keep track of what volume I put things on, so I have to ask every single time. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, that's good, that's good. It's okay, as long as it's audible. As long as you can hear me. That's important. You need to hear me. Be bad at puzzles. <laughs> Last time on Professor Layton. Oh, it, right, it tells me. A lot of skeletons getting pulled apart. Okay, I hope you're having fun. Right, we got off the train. Mist of celebrating its 50th anniversary. Well, I didn't even learn that last time, but... Right, Flora's with us. Or maybe I did learn that and I just forgot. This sleepy little farming place. It's quiet now. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. What younger is settlement in these parts? Sounds suspicious. Sure. Whatever you say, Professor. <laughs> Aha, I knew there'd be a coin there. Oh, is that a hidden puzzle? Something odd about this picture. It's a puzzle, is what's odd about it. Train stations are an especially good place for dramatic farewells, aren't they? Below is a picture of a man and woman bidding each other a tearful goodbye. Somewhere within this picture is a single unrealistic detail. Well, it's snowing, but there's no snow on the ground, but that's not that unusual. This person looks very small, but I think that's normal. First of all, I don't think you're allowed to get close this close to a moving train. But, you know, for the drama. So first of all, there's several unrealistic details in this. That's because it's a video game drawing. So I don't know what you want from me. Are you allowed to open the window on a train? Who is this man? Who is this woman? Who is this dog? What does it let me circle? The woman? It lets me circle the woman. The man? No, this person? Person. Let me circle anything. It doesn't just let me circle anything. It doesn't let me circle the ground. It lets me circle this man's bag. It doesn't let me circle the man. 
that lets me circle his bag. Let's me circle the moon. Let's me circle the lamp. Circle the well. It's pointing at the window specifically. That makes me believe. Hints for it being quote unquote good. Well, now you make me want to look at the hints. I. Last time I had an abundance of hint hint coins, so I think Well that's because like for the first like three quarters of the game I was very stingy with my hint coins. I didn't want to use them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the dog. There's nothing wrong with him. That's <laughs> This is a perfectly healthy canine. The moon hanging in the sky and the lamppost are fine as is. Don't bother searching- Okay, so it's just eliminating possibilities. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so that only leaves like three possibilities. You tell your searching for us to do with the train car. Once you spot it out, you're sure to shout, there's no way you can move it like that. Uh... Huh? Do it like the bottom of the... I mean, there's like... What do you mean? It looks... I don't know how trains work! <laughs> uh, I, l I do love the hint. There's nothing wrong with the dog. The dog is fine. <laughs> I'm sure to shout. Well... What am I circling here? His feet? That's the dog. Hi, Beldino! What's wrong with it? It's a train. Off to a good start. There's nothing wrong with the dog. There's nothing wrong with the moon. There's something wrong with the train car. And I'm sure to shout. It lets me point at the window. Let me- it's let, it lets me point at this. What is this? I don't know what this is. What is this? What's this a dot? What is that? I don't know what that is. What's this? What are these? It's a snowball. What is this? It's the train, obviously. I mean, the train doesn't have a door, but that could easily be off screen. It says I'm sure to shout, but I'm looking around and I'm not shouting. I think you can tell that I'm not shouting. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not shouting. I mean, 
What is, what kind of a train is this? They're like, is there no train tracks? Is the issue, but I can't circle the bottom. I can only circle this man's shoes. This man's shoes. I mean, it could be like down under, you know? What is this? What is this object? Does anybody know what is this? Does anybody know this what is it? This? This what is this? It's a circle. That's... That's just train? So just... This is just pointing at the whole train in general. You know what, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna choose this, cause I don't... <laughs> I feel like that's the less, that's the most likely. No, okay, fuck. I was gonna say it's telling well, me the answer. I'm stumped. Telling me the answer is to do with the train, and then it's pointing at the train. I'm so bad at these puzzles. This game is like so much harder than the first one. Hi, welcome. Well, the only other thing about the train that I can circle is this. Pizza! I want pizza. Unless it's this. Like, what is this? Is it the fact there's no train track? Sort of? I can't see none. I don't know if that means there is none. It seems a little obvious. My circle disappeared, but the point still is. But like, is this- this seems like it's pointing at this... This... Individual. <laughs> There's a character that is very obviously Luke's vo voice actor doing the exact same voice. Luke is just in Dragon Quest VIII? That's great. It's him. He's in disguise. This is just pointing at this guy. Who is this? Who's this little man? Uh, is it the window? I'm just gonna guess. I don't like this. I don't just like this puzzle. Okay. Well, it was the window all along. Piece of cake. Oh. Well, that last hint was very misleading, wasn't it? It doesn't have anything to do with the train moving at all. Cuz I was looking for things that would prevent the train from moving. That makes sense, though. That's smart. That's silly. That was the old section. A two-sided part. It's got two sides. The writers have some opinions on trains not having windows you can open. Fair enough. What is this? The wires connect. This fits in here very well. It might be that. I think it goes here. Professor Layton hates air conditioning. Wait. Okay. Let's go into town. It's this guy. Oh, hey, it's Granny! What the hell? Oh my god, look at her. Look at her! She's so excited!
Oh, her, her house is right- her house, her shack is right there. How cute. How quaint. Okay, what about you? You don't have a puzzle for me. The air is so clean and fresh. Would the air be clean and fresh? They all have chimneys. Wouldn't there be- wouldn't the air be all smoky? Mullen Terra Express turned 50 this year, didn't it? Quite the coincidence! This guy, is he the conductor? Or is the other guy the conductor? Sheer coincidence, of course. An exclusive venue in London. The rock star guy, yeah, okay. It's already been a year since she passed. She? <laughs> by the way, my wife died. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> what the hell? Uh. There's no hint coins on this screen. Oops. Who are you? Look at his nose! I love this guy. What? What the hell? Why is everyone being so mysterious? This is a Professor Layton game is why, but... He knows where we're going. He has a puzzle for me. Can you believe this weather? Are these people robots too? I wouldn't be surprised. Cube halves. Alves. Alves. Cube halves. Blow our f blow our <laughs> Below are four halves of four separate cubes. Each of the halves is shaped that when fitted with an identically shaped piece, these two halves form a whole cube. However, one piece below fails to meet those requirements and doesn't form a cube when joined with another identical piece. Oh boy. More visualization. Plot twist, Professor Layton is the only human in this setting. Everyone else is a lo- a lobot. A lobot. A robot. Lucas has three dogs in a trench coat. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna get this one first try. I just have to become good at picturing images in my head. Uh. Okay, it's not D. D fits together, I think. Wait. Yeah, it does. B also, I think, is fine. C looks suspicious. No, it's not C. It's definitely not C, because how the heck would that work? I mean, just look at it. It's obvious, because the other ones are all symmetrical, right? This is symmetrical. Well, not symmetrical, but like... It's such that if you flip it over... Flip, flip it upside down, flip it horizontally, they fit together perfectly. But this one... This one's like... What are you supposed to do with this? Where does this triangle piece go? It's obviously C, right? So it's so obviously C that it makes me think that it's not C. Now I'm gonna say it's C because I don't want to be it here for ages. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, well, I guess I did see. Great. Huh. Wonderful. I'm so smart. That's right. I know, I did feel like a trick question. That was so easy. That was your best puzzle? That mysterious puzzle collecting lady. She gathers and stores all the lost puzzles of the world. How she does it is a conundrum wrapped in an enigma stuff mystery. Or, you know, a mystendrum. He's talking about Granny Riddleton. We got the trick question at the right time for math. Yay! Most of the festivities are over here. Ah, coin! I love getting coin. I want more coin. Give me coin! Please! Give me coin, please! Please, please! Please, give me coin, please! Oh, please, give coin, please! Oh, I don't get coin. Here we go. <laughs> I've never been to a real life festival. I've only been to a robot festival. Oh. Oh. It's him. He's back. Look at all the fruits and veggies. One of the wheels is dented. That reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> In the back of the train yard, there is an old warped wheel lying on the ground. As shown below, a star is pointing to its axle. While no longer functional, the wheel is interesting because, when rolled on a flat surface, its axle traces a funny pattern if you look at it from the side. Of the five diagrams below, which one depicts the actual path of the axle? Hmm. More visualization, okay. Fun. It's a weird freaking wheel. Why is it shaped like a triangle? Who built this wheel? Okay, so. to say right off the bat I'm tempted to say either A or E I'd rather a wheel than a slide puzzle me too well slide puzzles are like the thing about the thing about slide puzzles is they're completely brainless you can't even call it a puzzle I mean you could do it with your brain if you wanted to if you're really really wanted to use your brain, but really I just slide shit around until it works. This is like, I actually have to think about it. I have to think about it really hard. I think it's E. No, it's either A or E. I'm not sure if it's A or E. I don't have anything that's triangle shaped. I can use to test my theory. How am I supposed to imagine this?
It's never really fun to execute the algorithm. Exactly. Not fun. Oh, I think it is A. I'm like, I'm like making a triangle with my fingers and like <laughs> rotating it. <laughs> but the problem is I can't do a th full 360 with my hands. I'm rotating it in my mind. I'm trying so hard. I think it is A. I think. I think it definitely does like a weird bump in the middle. Maybe if I get a triangle shaped piece of paper. Is this cheating? Or. I don't think it's cheating, it's just using tools that you have. Do I have scissors? No. I have scissors at some point, but they're gone. It's be called being resourceful. So true. I have a triangle, but it's not the right shape of triangle. Uh, making a lot of loud noises, sorry. Okay, I think I got it. I got a triangle. It's so shitty, but I got it. Very small and very shitty. Okay, here we go. A triangle. Okay, yeah, it's definitely A. It's definitely A. Just leave it to me. Woo! I'm oh, I just dropped my triangle on the ground. It's Make okay. It's only paper. I'm so smart. I even visualized it in my brain. I rotated it. I rotated it in my mind, and I got the right answer. Woo! It would be fun to watch it bounce around. If you've got puzzles, I've got answers. You're so smart. Another one? A more puzzle! It's a carnival game. Oh, look at this guy. Squirts. A bag of can- I don't think they have any money, so it's a good thing you offered it for free. Layton fucked off when he didn't give them any money. A bag of candy dangles from one of three arrows attached to the wall, assuming that all arrows are perfectly straight, which is connected to the- Um, looks like C, doesn't it? It's definitely not A. What does it say? Drop stone 50xm? What does that mean? Oh, I think it's B actually. B looks more correct than. You drop from. 
Yeah, it's definitely not A. It's super not A. I think it's B. I'm so bad at drawing a straight line. This would be so much easier on the DS. Is this a puzzle? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is a carnival game, apparently. Drawing a straight line, classics of puzzle. XM is the currency in the universe. In the UK, I think they use pounds. <laughs> Have they mentioned currency? Before? In, I'm in the UK, we use XM. Okay, great. Good to know. I've learned it. <laughs> I keep drawing a shitty straight line and then failing. I think it is B. Here's my puzzle. Do you have a ruler? Oh yeah, I could just use like something on my desk, couldn't I? Yeah. B. Just leave it to me. Smile. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. Do, 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 do. The reason this puzzle is tough for some people is because it contains a famous optical illusion. When you obscure a portion of a diagonal line with a straight shape, the two visible portions of the line appear disjointed. Does it? I don't think that. I don't. Whatever. Stop calling him short. He's normal size. He's a child. He's a baby. What's this? I forgot to look at what this part is called. I forgot this series was set in real life England, yeah. It sure is. He just talked about being in London, like, ten minutes ago. I don't know where this goes. What is this? Um, I'm gonna take it out for now. Oh, is Luke still with them? I thought he'd left. I thought they let he let the kids go off on their own to do the puzzles and the the Who are you? Lulu or top secret we're doing some top secret festival prep so you can't come in yet. What the heck? Top secret Farm! There's definitely a coin on one of these trees. Or in the mount- or in the mountain! Give me a coin! I bet there are all kinds of animals living in the forest. Great observation, Luke. You're so smart. He knows so much about animals. Costia. Oh dear me! I've never heard of the dreadful thing. <laughs> Never.
Wow. You ruined his day, Layton. What a jerk. The pro golfer has the amazing ability to consistently putt distances of 3, 5, 7, and 11 feet. Strangely enough, though, those are the only distances in putt. Currently, our golfer stands on the green with his ball 20 feet from the hole. What's the fewest number of strokes you can use to get the ball into the hole? Assume that if the ball is hit farther than the distance remaining to the hole, it will roll over to the other side without going into the cup. <clears throat> Interesting question. It's more math, but it's fun. Okay, I love his little sprite here. Look at him. Great, I love him. Okay, so... So... You go 11 twice and you got 22. And you go 3 more over, then you got 25. And then you go 5, and you got 20. So that's 4. I don't think you can do 3, can you? Is 11 plus 7 is 18. You can't do it from there. And then 11 plus 11 is 22, and you can't do it from there. Eleven plus five is sixteen. And it's there. And eleven plus three is fourteen. And you can't do it from there. Five plus seven is twelve. Right? Yeah, twelve. You can't do it. You know, and then you need eight. You can't do that. And 7 plus 3 is 10. You can't do that. So it has to be 4. I mean, if it's 4, he can just do 5 4 times if he wants. There's a lot of combinations that you can do if you want to do four, but you can't do three. But there's so many ways to do four. It makes me think there's a super secret way you can get three. But I don't think there is. Seven plus seven is fourteen. You can only get like a few numbers out of it. Yeah, I think it's four. I'm gonna put four. Oh four. I don't think I need to put zero. Four. <laughs> Consider this puzzle solved. What the fuck? Well, I suppose that's one Remember, this is a pro golfer we're talking about. He can do some pretty amazing things. What? Okay, so what's a trick question is what you're telling me? Is this like he hits the ball at a fucking 20 fucking angle and like gets like a fucking Pythagorean theorem out and you hit the ball and you calculate the distance you went horizontally <laughs> you have underestimated this golfer apparently I have
Well, if it's not four, then it's definitely three, because on if it's not a trick question, presuming it's not a trick question, then it's gotta be three, because there's no way it's two, unless it's a trick question. I don't want to use a hint coin. I've used so many. I don't want to use all my hint coins. I'm struggling. I'm poor. I need more coins. Look how fucking big this flag is. <laughs> this fl the flag is bigger than him. You don't know the answer. Nobody knows the answer. Hmm. Normal, really? Wow, they got bit flags the size of men in golf. That's fucked up. I mean, he doesn't look like a very tall man, to be fair. That's also where they're bright red, I assume. They have to be bright red or you won't see it. I won't see it. Those are the only distances he can put, but can he not put? What is a specific kind of golf move, right? There's lots of different moves you can do in golf. You can putt. You can... <laughs> Hell golf where the flags are camouflaged and tiny. That's really good. That's a good idea. It's like hide and seek. You have to find the hole first. Standard size is seven feet? That's terrifying. That's a big flag. I mean, I guess flags are usually up higher than seven feet, but still. Mind games where you act like you're confident a hole is in a specific direction to lure other golfers away. If this is to scale, this man is about six and a half feet tall? Wow. He's got some weird proportions going on. I thought he was like... Five feet and... I don't know. Definitely not six feet. He does not look six feet tall. He looks like a five foot tall man. I, it looks like if I met this man, he would be shorter than me. Giant Eggman. Exact. That's... That's true. Okay. He is a pro golfer. He has the amazing ability to consistently punt distances of 3, 5, 7, and 11 feet. Okay. Well, you can go backwards right off the bat, right? But I don't think that helps any. What's 11 minus 5? Uh, What's 11 minus 3? 10, 9, 8. Yeah, but then, like, if you go 3 backwards, and you go 11 forwards, then you have eight forwards. And then you go 11 forwards and you still only have 19. So what are you supposed to do? 
What are you supposed to do? What if he just picks up the ball and throws it with his bare hands? Or his gloved hands, because he's wearing gloves. What if he played baseball instead? How is it not four? I'm, I'm underestimating his ability, but I don't know what his abilities are. He has a very cool mustache. What if you just commanded the winds to push the ball a little further? That's true. Golf is known for having winds. Golf is known for this. But it doesn't tell me how fast the wind is or what direction the wind is blowing. They can't rely on the wind. But he can control the wind. So... Control the winds to get the hole in zero. That would be really impressive. This, this is why wizards are banned from golf. I never knew that. But it makes sense. Math is a puzzle. You can't put an odd number. You mean an even number? Because he can only put odd numbers. Is what the question is. He can't, he can't get an odd number though. I mean, he can get an even number though. For example, if he puts 11 feet, and then he puts 3 feet, and you have 14, which is an even number. He puts an odd number, then he ends- Oh! He can't be that good, he's putting with a witch. I don't even know what that means, but I'll believe you. That's the type of... Stick. Golf stick! What are they called? <laughs> Golf stick. <laughs> yeah, cause an odd number- <laughs> Cause an odd number- <laughs> That's- it's not a golf racket, I know that's not true. That's tennis. That's tennis. Um, cause an odd number plus an odd number is an even number. Always, all the time. that same for minus too and then an odd number plus an even number is always an odd number right so it couldn't possibly be three because if you add two of them together then you get an even number for sure you add another one, you get an odd number for sure. So there's no possible way it could be 20 and 3. Golf club, that's what it is. <laughs> Thank you. There's a trick, but what, what's this? What, 
There has to be a trick if four isn't the right answer, right? Because there's no way it's two. But what could the trick possibly be? I want to use a hint. <laughs> Is the trick... Start, start thinking like a puzzle bastard. Okay, it says these are the only distances he can putt. Putting is a specific golf move, isn't it? What kind of golf moves are there? Golf, I'm googling golf moves. Golf moves. What are the different golf swings? Rotational based swing. Handed arm based swing. Separation based swing. Directing the momentum swing. Single plane swing. <laughs> what if it is just like he decides to not use a putter? Exactly! What if he... Put... What are some golf phrases? Readygolf.com Big rat. <laughs> Dance floor. Dribbler, get down, get up, in the leather, knee knocker, meat and potatoes par four, Mickey Mouse course, milk the grip, million- <laughs> Why am I looking at this? A putt is a putt, you can't say it's only a half. Okay, so we're imagining this in a 3D, in a 2D space, but I think I need to imagine it in a- We need to use fucking like angles, like, do I have to bring out Pythagorean Theorem? I really don't want to. So here's the flag. Well, I guess I can just use this line here, can't I? My D? I do this. Uh huh huh. But if I draw a triangle, then what will you think of me? I'm an hour into the stream and I've only done like three puzzles. This game is so hard. <laughs> the triangle is back, baby! seems like a puzzle bastard thing to do. Exactly. Hit it at a 32 degree angle. And then we hit it at a 42, 8, 90 degree angle. You see. Okay, so it has to be like a right degree angle, right? It has to be that like there's two of these. I don't think you need any cal- how do you not need a calculation, though? For this to be 20. What's 20 squared? <laughs> I don't think you need any calculations. Immediately asks, what's 20 squared? It's 400. Uh, what's... 400? What's 400? The real question is, what's 20 triangled? 
This is my pot noose. Uh, I don't think you can do it like this. No. Okay, I don't think you can do it in two at least. Hmm. I'm doing the math. I'm doing the math in my brain. And by my brain, I mean my iPhone calculator. <laughs> Someone done like a techno cover of the puzzle theme from this game. Probably. Maybe? I mean, it's basically the same as the puzzle theme from the last game, so... Just got like a beat to it and a couple little jingles. Jangles. Yeah, I'm gonna use a hint. The correct solution doesn't involve the okay, the golfer overshooting the hole. Well, that's useless because it can involve him going back first and then going forwards. No, it's not. That's not that's not what the rule says. The rule says you can. You can hit it. You can overshoot the hole, but then it just it just goes over. Like for example, if you do eleven. If you do eleven. And then you do 11 again, it just goes over, and you have, and you can have to go back. If the ball is hit farther than the distance remaining through the hole, it will roll over to the other side without going into the cup. You can overshoot it and then go back. There's no reason our golfing friend should have to hit each putt straight toward the hole. Perhaps he could putt his ball in a better position than the shot that travels diagonally. <sighs> so you've confirmed my suspicions. This is indeed the golfer's trick. But then, how? What kind of math you gotta do to do that? Okay, I don't think it's like a matter of math. Cause like if you do 11, if you do 11 straight towards the hole, it would end up like here. But if you do 11 like a little away from the hole, this, then it'll end up like here, like halfway. If you just hit a little away from the hole. Cause if you, My headphones stopped working. Please? Okay, well, whatever. I'm just gonna solve the puzzle and then... I think it's two then. No, not 22. Just two. Because... Yeah, if, if doing 11 twice would overshoot it, and you can just do a little less than 11. By hitting it diagonally. Smile, smile! Uh... 
need to calculate the angle of each shot perfectly, but that's probably why he's a pro. Look at this cow. Triangles. Let me save the game real quick and reload it, so my audio works. I love it when my audio works. Ah, noise. I love to hear it. You love to hear it. All right, all right, all right, I know, I know, I know. I've already done this. I already looked at it. Do, 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 do. Hello. For your own sake, don't go around spouting off about the you-know-what box. Nobody wants ugly looks. Nobody. Oops. All right, people here don't like the box. They hate boxes. Good to know. I think he is threatening me. I got, I got a coin ba back. That's good. Are they ready now? No, okay. So, you, hi. You need help with a puzzle? Oh no, your bird fell out of a hole. It's a puzzle! <laughs> what the fuck kind of hole do you have in your backyard? What the hell? Okay, so it's just a maze. Great, thanks. The sea goes in a loop. Okay, I think it is C. A goes to snake. Definitely don't go A. And B... Wait. No, B goes to the exit. Did I do C wrong? Oh, I think I did do C wrong. This is something you find at a family restaurant placement. It sure is. Yeah, okay, I did do C wrong. It's B. My theory. And now to test and my there theory. We have it. Oh, look, it's got nice colors. Any other tunnel will lead her deeper underground or into the mouth of a very hungry snake. Here she goes. Look at her. She squeezes. I was just 35 piggerots, but the gulf one was only 25. Good question. <laughs> this is- that was very difficult, okay? It was very difficult for the bird, to be fair. Oh, a tea set. Oh, you gave me a whole minigame, thank you. 
Oasis Leaf, Brisk Berry, Bell Tart Seed. Use it to create tea brands. I love making tea. Thank you. I love herbal tea. Just like real life. Combine the ingredients they've gathered to make a variety of delectable tea. Tap on an ingredient to learn its name and the properties it can give your tea. When you're ready to make tea, tap the ingredients and drag them into the teapot. You need three ingredients. You can use more than one of the same herb. The lid next to it will start to wiggle. Wow. Once you find a tea you like, tap search to give Luke and Layton a taste of what you've made. There are 12 recipes. Discover them all to unlock a neat bonus. How fun! Help? Why is there a help button? Help! With, with Oasis Leaf, Briskberry, and Bell Tart Seed. You mean the only ingredients we have? Yes, I will. Refreshing and purifying. Revitalizing and restoring. Great for the skin. As long as this tea is drinkable, I'll be happy. Happy, I'll be happy as a clam. Aww, a little sour, a little sweet, yum. I certainly have to tip my hat to this tea's drinkability. The delicious cold as well. Look, they have little angel wings. Feed Luke a shit awful tea. Lovely fruity aftertaste. They love it. Alright, what if I just put three sour ones in? This is gonna taste- this is- Your tea was no good, what a pity! Put lots of the same ingredient, but all it made was a boring one note tea. The real beauty of tea is the way different flavors come together! You just filled this teapot with pebbles and pennies. Oh, Where if I put two of, two of it? This is just terrible! Alright, Professor, I don't think I can choke down on this sip. No one should ever feel obliged to drink something as rank as this tea, what the fuck? Wonder where you went wrong. Wow, you're so mean. Beer is so brutal! This tea smells a bit well funny. I wish sure we can drink this. <laughs> it's a fucking poison. Why not find out? Alright, well, I don't think we can make anything else with these ingredients. <laughs> Leaving a bad review online. I think we need more ingredients. Oh, tree puzzle, tree puzzle. Look at this crazy looking tree, Professor! <laughs> this tea makes me rich, you horrible fiend! Ugh. This reminds me of a puzzle! Tree's on an old road. Oh, look at these little guys! Look at them! They're so small. The country road you see here is lined with a single straight row of trees, each planted at a different time and at a different distance from its neighbor. Of the five trees labeled A through E, ear, which of the two trees have the greatest distance between them? A and E? <laughs> Like... The 
few ones I got right on my first try. Okay, good. So I'm not the only one who's getting the maturity of the puzzles wrong the first try. Like, is the puzzle- is this the thing that, like, it makes you think you're talking about the distance between two treats like this, but it's actually the distance between A and D? Oh, ba 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 Oh, I needed to click serve at the menu. Okay, okay, I'll do that after. I'll see if it's right. Hmm, let's see if this works. Smile, smile. Piece of cake. Da, da, da. No matter how you look at it, trees and EA clearly have the greatest distance between them. Look at this guy. He's pointing. This is the golf guy, isn't it? Isn't this the golf man? It's the pro golfer. I love to see him. New hamster toy. <laughs> this must be the golf course. Help. Ah. Serve. Leighton drinks the steaming cup of Bell Classic, enjoying each warm sip. This is splendid, Luke. This is truly a testament to the restorative power of tea. Agent seems restored and in high spirits. You found a hint coin at the bo bottom of your teacup? That's not good. You could have choked on that. Let's see if we can solve... Let's solve hamster. I'm not so good at moving and stuff. Home. He destroyed it. Look, he walked eight spaces. I'm so proud of him. Sure. His level went from five to four. It went down. <laughs> what do you mean it went down? That's bad. Isn't that bad? <laughs> Poor slug. Now I have a goal of fourteen. I see. Yeah. This is the characters. This purring characters of puzzle. See any more coin? Any coins? Any coins in this world? Coin for me? For me? Okay, well. Oh, now we can go. Safe to go. This is what I call a festival. <laughs> All the hustle bustle. About the plaza. There's a man, there's Ben, there's multiple. Parting with one so dear to your heart is even more painful than the tightest wig. Are you good? <laughs> Gee, I don't know about that. <laughs> what the fuck? This is not so bad, old man. Suck it up. You stop being a little baby. Well, he's the one who started dumping his shit on us. Yeah, Flora's here. She came with us. She came on the train. Then we met her. On the train. I had to plug in my phone because it's dying. Now my computer is making a noise. Hey fellows, pleasure to meet you. My name's Albert. I am just nuts. <laughs> I am just nuts. 
My name's Albert, and I am just nuts. I heard you've been running around in Robstone asking questions, but you haven't talked to me yet. If you solve the puzzle, the King of Dropstone Trivia, yours truly, will answer a question for you. Boys Club. Boys Club. Below is a wheel of male and female portraits. Select a portrait and, counting that portrait as one, do six portraits either clockwise or counterclockwise. Then cross out the last of these six portraits. What? Okay. No, I get it. Repeat this pattern starting from the next available portrait and moving in the same direction. If you start at just the right portrait, you can move all the women in the wheel, leaving only six portraits of men behind. Circle this portrait. Oh boy. Okay, so open up the memo. Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six. That does not work. Wait, I'm so confused. Starting at the next available portrait. What do you mean by starting from the next available portrait? You, go, you start here, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you cross this out, and then do you go one, two, three, four, five, six, or then do you go like start from here and then go one, two, three, four, five, six? What does it mean? I'm so confused. This question is worded poorly. Oh wait, counting that portrait as one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You stop at purple hair lady. If you stop at purple haired lady, start again at orange haired lady. What? You mean if you start here and I go. Wait, so if I start here and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, do I get floor or do I go one, two, three, four, five, six, get golf man? Do I get golf man or flora if I start from here? This is counting that portrait as one. So I'm assuming I get golf man. Uh so what you're and anyway, what you're saying is if I go here and get golf man, then I go here. And get her. I go here, da, 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 and then I go her, or I can go him. Correct, correct, Amundo. <laughs> okay, if you start the purple haired lady, you can't six, and you end up at four. Then you can't six more, starting at the man slightly below Flora. Okay, so I do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can start from either here or here. Right? That's what I thought from the question. That's what, that's what I thought. Okay, so. So starting here. One, two, three. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
But how does that work? Then you just go around in the circle. One, two, three, six. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I would- that- yeah, okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. This question is very confusing. This is worded very poorly, I feel like. Or it's just really overcomplicated. Go one. Okay, so don't start here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six to get to Flora. Then I start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then. Uh. That's the same problem then. Start here then. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Oh, wait, you don't have to start on a woman. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start here, right? Okay. One, two, five, six. One, two, three. I'm so confused. How do you... It just ends up with you going around in a circle. Once you've crossed someone out, you skip them from then on. That makes sense. Oh yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was just realizing. It says moving in the same direction. So once you've started, you can't change the direction. Okay. Okay, so you skip one. God, this this question is so complicated. So one, let's start, let's start here. One, two, three, four. Wait, no, start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Oh, okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> Two. Same problem. One, two, three, five, six. I messed it up. Hang on. No, I messed it up. One second. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 No. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, 
four, five, six. No. Hmm. I hear them, maybe? One, one, two, three, four, five. Wait. No, start with Flora. One, two, three, six. No, that doesn't work. Start with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. <sighs> Try the other way then? One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 This guy. Ba -ba -ba. And now to test my theory. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And there we have it. There we have it. I'm so smart. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Ask about the box that the guy told you not to ask anyone about, or you'll get ugly looks. You've gone beyond my area of expertise. I've never heard of the thing. What I can tell you is that people in this town jump at the very mention of curses. Seems they have some connection to the village in the days of its founding. The village is cursed? All the old timers here are really cagey about the origins of Dropstone. That's very suspicious. And a bit scary. It's gonna be all robots again. Can't wait. Who's little monument here, Professor? It appears to be commemorating something. The secret message. Oh boy. <laughs> On the day Dropstone was founded 50 years ago, the villagers toasted with red wine and danced late into the night. They also built this statue, engraving it with the word red in the date 812. Part of the statue was shaped like a wine glass and can be filled with water from the spout at the top. While the statue describes the villagers' activities on the day of founding, it can also show where they all found themselves the day after the festivities. Can you figure out where the villagers were? Answer in three letters. We fill in three letters. But like when you fill it up. Box off the top half, the bottom half. 
What does it say? It doesn't say anything. Is it ECN? That doesn't mean anything. Dead because there are robots and art alive. It's gotta be that, right? Because it mentions that you fill up the thing, right? Oh, it's like when you... It reflects it, okay. Uh... Good question. <laughs> Flex it and it looks like it's bed, isn't it? That's what that was my first thought anyway, cuz I know I the, the joke answer I was gonna make is real. Uh, this is also what I was thinking. That was also my first thought was bed. There you go. This should do the trick. This should do the trick. And there we have it. Wow, that's very smart. We'll head on the one. Ulterior motive of founding a village. These are all posters of cows. That is odd. What? They really love cows here? Hmm. Now what? Over here? Oh, look, it's more. Whoa, cows! Let's go! They're huge! They're gigantic cow balloons! The livestock competition. Livestock competition? Okay, come back later when you're done getting all the puzzles. <laughs> Those cow balloons certainly are something else. It's the golf man! I recognize him everywhere now. I'm so happy to see him. He's real. I want to talk to him. Let me speak to the golf man. I'm his biggest golf fan. Golf real. As a gentleman, I feel it is my duty to take one of these balloons. Aww. He's just a boy. Cannot change this. What are you? Facts. Don't act all bashful and reserved. Mr. Anderson. 
He's swimming in money and he pretty much runs Dropstone. He's a swell guy. Oh, you're the mailman. Okay, that's what you are. You can always tell a heck of a lot about people, by the way. They treat their local mail carrier. That's true. He spends all his time fretting about his daughter. A pair of unusual characters head up toward his house. The two said they were police- Ooh, It's the cops. Inspector Chalmin is assistant. Hmm. He's a big fish. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. What's in here? Hello! Look at this cat! What are you? Cat sculpture. It is expressive. He's so cute. Cat puzzle! Flipped cats. Oh, it's another one of these. One of the three color pictures A, B, or C is the same picture as the black and white displayed on the far left. The only difference is that the picture on the far left has had its context flipped left to right and- Yeah, it's one of these. It's the same one. Same as the star one, but it's... different. It is a great bookmark. What are the differences? <laughs> this is just- this is- this is hardly a puzzle, it's just to spot the difference game. Now, this one has a shorter eyelash. Well, it's not A. His eyelash is too short. And... B. This is so hard. Wait, this one's moved. The ear, because you can see the ear. This one's slightly over a bit, because the ear, you can see the line here. But on these, you can see more of the line. It must be B then. This should do the trick. Smile, smile! A true gentleman leaves no puzzle smile, unsolved. Smile, 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 smile. Yay! Lots well, of the lines themselves that are different, okay. Cool. You always make it look so easy, Professor. Luke loves the sculpture, and I do too. Look at this bunny. These are so cute. How about you, lady? There's a maid. His daughter? Is she dying? Oh no, she's leaving. Okay, he's depressed. Because his daughter has independence. Oh. Running away? I 
How old is she? <laughs> the purpose of the trip is to fulfill the last request of the young lady's late grandmother. That's interesting. Give me coin, give me coin. Yay, coin! I'm so happy! Coin! Coin! I get so much coin. <gasps> coin! I'm rich, I'm full of coin. I want to go to a store and leave with more money than I came in with. That's so true. A mansion in the woods. That must be Mr. Anderson's house. Me? He got all hot under the collar when he couldn't solve it. He couldn't solve it. Let's solve the puzzle. That's unsolvable. Baggage claim. I thought we were done with these. I thought we were done with these. <sighs> what rotten luck. What rotten luck. While trying to pick up your luggage, you find a sliding block puzzle. It'll crash. I quite enjoy these ones. Yeah, they're not- they're not- <laughs> they're not that bad, it's just I've had enough of them. Use your wits to move all the boxes out and claim your luggage. Your lung- your lung- your lung- Claim your lung -inge. Claimed my lung and should do the trick. That was so easy. I did it. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Hmm. I'd actually solve the mystery, the Monterey Express. People say that the train occasionally makes a stop at a phantom town found on no map. I'm... It's this town, isn't it? <laughs> I'm willing to bet that that's this town that we're in. A rambling man. Oh, hello. Farm puzzle, farm puzzle. A short puzzle. Better be a short puzzle. Moving day. That's another one of these. I don't know why I said that. I just, this, this reminded me of a puzzle from the old, the other game. With the horses and the laps and the running. You yeah, have four horses, all of which travel at different speeds. And traveling from point A to point B, these horses take one, two, four, and six hours, respectively. One day you move to, you decide to move all your horses from point A to point B. However, you can only move a maximum of two horses at a time, and you need to ride a horse back. Point A. Time you return to move your other horses. Knowing you can only move as fast as the slowest horse you're traveling with. What's the fewest number of hours it will take to complete your move? Well, 
obviously you have to take you have to take all of them like you can't it's like obviously you want to take no you obviously want to take six and one so you take six hours on the way there you take one hour on the way back and then you take four and one take four hours on Draw this better. Six and one. Six hours on the way there. One hour on the way back. Like four hours on the way there. One hour on the way back. You take two hours on the way there. And that's all of them. So six plus one, no six plus four, ten plus two is twelve, and then that's fourteen. Fourteen, final answer. Just leave it to me. Fuck! I wanted to speed run the puzzle. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. I thought I could speed run it like a horse. What's wrong with this horse? It looks like it's dying. I think step one should be feed the horse with some food. Did I do the math wrong or something? Horse? Hey there, horse. Horse, move horse. And you have six over here. And you ride one back. It takes one hour to ride it back. You take horse four and horse one. It takes four hours. And then you ride horse one back. Takes one hour. You take horse two. It takes two hours. And then you have all of them over there. All right? Yeah, six foot. Why isn't it fourteen? Why are you? But you just pulling me. <laughs> yeah, let me reread the question. <laughs> <laughs> You have four horses, all of which travel at different speeds. In traveling from point A to point B, these horses take one, two, four, and six hours respectively. One day, you decide to move all your horses from point A to point B. However, you can only move a maximum of two horses at a time, and you need to ride a horse back to point E. A, each time you return to move your other horses, knowing you can only move as fast as the slowest horse you're traveling with. What is the fewest number of hours it will take to complete your move? That didn't answer any of my questions. My question, singular, my question, singular, which is why isn't it 14 hours?
think you need to move. You need to move the six hour one and the four hour one somehow. What if I do it in a different order? The two hour one first. You take the one hour one back. Then you take... Four hour one. Then you take the one hour one back. Take the six hour one. Same answer. Doesn't matter what order you do it. Why can't you only take two horses? What what is with this limitation? Nonsense, I tell you. Why wouldn't you take the one hour one always? Because like if you do like if you take six and four, then you take it takes you six hours. You need the six hour one there, but you have to take the four hour one back. It takes four hours. Like why would you do that? I do love the four hour pony. He's really fat. I love him. I think before you spend a whole day moving your horses across a river, you should deal with your horse that is clearly malnourished. You should f feed your horse. Your horse is dying. That's their first problem. <laughs> the four-hour horse just knows how to pace itself. Maybe, maybe they're just really old. Maybe you're right. Just really old. Okay, bye-bye, Robino. I'll have good luck with horse. Like you take first horse and here, take one with you. You take
And for fun, you take the two hour horse and the four hour horse with four hours. Two hours back. An hour on the two hour horse. Two hours. After. Fifteen. You have 15. That's bigger than 14. <sighs> How does this work? What's the trick to this? There's some kind of trick. It's tricking me. Stop tricking me with horses. I wish my horses would stop tricking me. My horses are bullying me. Horses trick. Horse trick. The sequel to Ghost Trick. So mean to me. Assume you always need to return from B to A on the one hour horse. A good hint one for a change. Yeah, it's actually helpful. Why would you want? Why would you not travel on the one hour horse on the way back? like randomly imagine the situation you've left yourself in if you could go back on the one hour horse but choose not to like if I go 6-1 six, 6-6 six, six hour imagine you leave the one horse there and you go back and it takes 6 hours to go back why would you do that <laughs> Imagine I'm taking the two- imagine, for example, you got to waste five extra hours! Isn't that lovely? Oh, Take randomly the two and the four. That takes four hours. The one hour horse gets hungry and needs rest. Wait. Take the one hour horse and the two hour horse. <gasps> Wait, I think I solved it. <laughs> one hour horse and the two hour horse. Takes two hours. Leave the one hour horse there. Two hours go back. Then you take the four hour horse and the six hour horse. You take six hours. You have the six, and you leave the six and the four here. Then you, then you take the one back. And then you take two and one together. Takes two hours. <gasps> I'm a genius. How many hours is this? <laughs> two, four, ten. Thirteen. It's only one less? There's no way it's only one less. I have to optimize this. Is this optimized? Have I optimized it? 
took the first the one hour horse and the two hour horse, it takes two hours. And you leave the one hour horse there and you bring the two hour one back. Yeah. I'm gonna say 13 and I hope it's right. I'm gonna. I don't wanna spend more time. Wait, that says 17! No, go back! No! <laughs> Fuck! My piggerette! No! My piggerette! No! 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 Professor, why do you think my 3 is a 7? <laughs> Professor! <laughs> Piece of cake! <laughs> I spilled all my pickerettes. No! <laughs> Professor can't read my handwriting. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, okay, here's- I forgot where we were. That's how long I spent on that puzzle. What is this? It's tiny. that goes. Why is there a big help on the tea set? An oasis leaf with a double dose of brisk berry. Oh, I can make more. Wait. That's not brisk berry. Do 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 do. Delicious. It's a bit too sweet for me, but I understand why so many children enjoy it. Just watch me, aww. He loved by women and children. The crushing sweetness is the secret to his popularity. Hooray! Please stop putting coins in your tea. It's not a secret ingredient, it just makes you die. What's over here? Where are we going? Okie dokie. Hello. Are you a fisherman? Oh, <laughs> They love the tea you made. You're the tea master. What are you doing? He is a fisherman. I'm actually going fishing tomorrow. Well, I'm not going fishing, but I'm going on boat with my dad who is going fishing. I didn't know this until, like, a couple hours ago. <laughs> Cast a large net out in a pond. Catch some fish. Every- oh, it's like- it's like the coin puzzle from the first game. Every part of the net is in the water, except for the two ends. What you're holding in your hands, as shown below. What? The pond surface is small, but it's actually wider underwater, so parts of your sunken net aren't visible from the surface. Assuming that there are no tears in the net and that its ribbon is constructed of a single length of rope that ends on the shore, how many fish visible in the pond will you snare it when you pull the net back up? Okay. Interesting question. Like, 
this is an end, and this is an end. So I can assume that it goes like this. That means that this fish won't be caught, right? This one will. It really is just like the coin puzzle. Not this, and not this. This will, these two won't. Will. Well, this two won't. These two won't. This will, this will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fish? Fish violencer. Here goes. Seven fish. Whoa. Piece of cake. That's a lot of fish. Amazing. Woo hoo! What day haul? Tonight I feast like a king. Good job, good for you. You can't just only eat fish, you'll die of- Ooh, Bitcoin in the water. You'll die of no nutrients. Aha, coin. Look, it's him! It's... Cop. <laughs> He's not home. Ah. Rumors he tried to find the illusion box in the past. Looks like the competition is about to start. Who are you? Are you the butler? Yum yum yum. Please confirm identity by solving this puzzle. Ooh, it's a knot puzzle. Three rope loops are tangled together with a single red rope. If you were to pull both ends of the red rope, a single knot would form in the middle. Can you figure out how many of the rope loops would get caught in this knot when it forms? Even if a loop appears to have been pull caught, pulled into the knot, you shouldn't count it in your answer if you can pull the loop free of the red rope with a tug. Oh dear. Oh boy, this is so mean. I 
that doesn't help. Uh... Okay, so I think... I think the green one gets stuck because it's only wrapped around one end of the thing. blue one definitely doesn't get stuck. My question is, does the orange one? get caught here that loops under here oh well, the orange one doesn't get stuck just the green one I think one final answer this should do the trick fuck I'm stupid oh, my this one is quite formidable it really isn't formidable I wouldn't call it formidable I would call it mean and terrible. Upsetting to me personally. Would the green one get stuck? Because I don't think it would get caught in the knot. Like it looks like it would be outside of the knot, wouldn't it? Depends on when the where the knot goes. Is it zero then? Because I really don't think the blue one or the orange one get caught in the knot. Zero, final answer. <laughs> Consider this puzzle solved. Hey, I'm right. There we go. Huh, wonderful. It's a nice lady. Mad puzzle genius. All right, time to go to competition. There's a man. Hi. Boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Board splitter. It's the golf man!
Here you have an oddly shaped board. Since this board is rather unwieldy as is, you decided to cut it into drawing these pieces to a square. Assuming you aren't allowed to flip either of the pieces over once the cut, where should you make the cut in order to achieve the above? Rotate it, but you can't flip Classic of Professor Layton. How many squares? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You need to make a 4x4 four four square. So obviously you need to cut you need to move all these three off the top. Assuming you need- you only- Supposed to make one cut. But how? No, you can't do this with only one cut because. But you get two pieces. Assume you need to cut it so it's two pieces. Doesn't matter how many cuts. You just need to cut it, so that's two pieces. Obviously, you need, to, you need to cut it so that this this square in the middle here is no longer in the middle. It needs to be on the outside, but in order to do that, very difficult to do that without two cuts. Possibly. Yeah, it's impossible. Obviously, you need to do more than one cut. I'm trying to do some real weird cuts in my mind. It doesn't need one cut, but it needs... It needs just two pieces. Because it says you aren't allowed to flip either of the pieces, so it's implying two pieces. <laughs> this is hard. It's 25 picarettes. Not that hard, but it's only 25 picarettes. The 
these are the famous diabolical squares. Obviously, I need to cut either this or this. It's supposed to be 4x4. Four four. Wait, is this it? No, it's not, is it? Is it? No. No, it isn't. It isn't. It's not. Uh. Almost it. Bit long. I'm so bad at these. Layton's fucked up squares. This relating end is terrible, diabolical. Square object. No good, no good. What is this? Cube. Does it have a face? It's smiling. I love it. I am not smiling.
Okay, bye-bye, shrimp. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm so good at this puzzle. I'm so good at this puzzle. Tetris shape. Tetris. Help. Uh. Fuck you. Obviously, no shit. I'm going to start crying. Why are these hints? Congratulations, you've given me nothing. You've given me absolutely freaking nothing. shape is kind of simple, so the game doesn't know how to only partially tell you about it. It's simpler than you've been trying. Okay. Thank you for the real hint that I've spent three hint coins on. I have to cut this. Because it's five. Do it like this. I also do it. Got, got this weird arch. I'm gonna rotate my Nintendo DS in my brain to see if it helps. Uh. 
I'm rotating the Nintendo DS in my brain. Wait. <laughs> Is it this? Have I done it? Oh, I've done it, haven't I? It's really this simple, huh? Tetis. Tetis. It's Tetis. And now to test my theory. Huh. It's Tetis. Wonderful. Easier than it looks, isn't it? This is this guy is exactly how I feel right now. This is exactly how I feel right now. Thank you, Golf Band, for being a representation of me. Woohoo! Screw part. I got a screw part. This is it. Boom. It's imperfect. This should help me a lot. It said one. Oh no. Do you have another one? Oh no. He's still dead on the ground. This one's even more unruly than the last. It is. Um, got a S. Got an S in the middle. Or a five. I hate the number five. Oh, I'm, this is so bad. This is so bad. Who did this? Who did this? Cool ass spin. <laughs> it's so hard to visualize it. Needs to be five by four. That's four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need to cut at least two pieces off. This gets you up in here. This goes in here. We could do this goes in here. You see it? You see it? You're so smart. So this fits in here. And you've got this part up here. Is it... Oh, is it like this? They fit into each other like a spiral. And it goes like one, two, three, this. And then it just goes, it's like this, right? Da -da. It's like a cube. It goes like one, two, four, five. 
Yeah, I'm going to submit it and see. I think Consider it's correct. This puzzle solved. I did it! That was... That took a me so much less time than the other one. Puzzle unsolved. It took me so much less time. That was pretty fun. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? I disagree, but... I'm really something else. I'm something amazing. I got a battery. Yeah, it's like a training wheels. Ooh, it's funny shaped. Perfect for this. Alright, well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You rotate this. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work like that. You can't flip it. You have no more puzzles for me. Thank you. Time to go look at the cows. Aren't we all excited to go look at the cows? Go here. Thank you. Look at this place. problem here. That's no bovine of mine. Someone swapped out my cow for this lemon. That's right, the cows know. Just ask the cows. Go something like this puzzle. Cows are grazing at the festival. Two of them are true moo cows, a breed that only tells the truth. Only of these are Noe cows, a different variety that always lies. Now hey cow, now hey, no no way, no way cows. Oh no way cows, got it, no way cows. A different variety that always tells lies. Telling, using, mark, the no way cows. Okay. Two are a true cow. So let's let's go selectively breeding my cows to always tell lies. So if, so if we assume that A is telling the truth. Then D not D. D is lying. I mean, E is the other true. <laughs> that B is lying. Which means that C is a true. That gives the wrong numbers. That can't be because A must be lying. So if A is lying, then D is telling the truth. He's telling the truth. He's lying. He's lying. He is definitely means that C is not a true. The false.
So A, C, and E are liar. Here goes. Smile. Piece of cake. Do, do, do. I'm a genius. That soulful gaze. Alright, well, you better fucking put some kind of identifying thing on your cow. Time to announce the winner. Oscar, he won. Mutilda. Too bad you swapped your cow back. If you kept quiet, you'd be the winner. I was robbed. <laughs> Puzzle for me. Clothes make the man. The man make the clothes, and the clothes make the man. I've got my act together. Ooh. Look at these guys. Then A, B, and C each started off with pants and shirts of a single color. A wore red, B wore blue, and C wore white. Then they were blindfolded and swapped items of clothing. After they took off their blindfolds, here's what they said. A. No one's shirts and pants match. Looks like C's the only one of us who didn't keep any of his original clothes. C. I don't know if I like these red pants. Ah. The dress-up game? Oh, it's a dress-up Oh, I see. So C has red pants. He didn't keep his red. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. He didn't keep any of his general clothes, so he's not wearing white. <laughs> red pants are gone. Hehe. <laughs> Shirts and pants, man. C isn't wearing any of original clothes. Wearing red pants. And now to test my theory. Da -da -da! A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Look at them! I love these guys! No one else can pull off a look this edgy. I believe you. I still can't c talk to the golf man. Hello there. Heh! <laughs> <laughs> Who 
Who's Mr. Anderson? It's like a Where's Waldo puzzle. I just saw Mr. Anderson around here a minute ago. He shouldn't be too hard to spot with that beard and hat. Yep, he's a real gentleman. He always looks spiffy with his cane and that dapper little bow tie. He doesn't wear glasses. Okay. Not this guy. Not this guy. Must be him. He doesn't have a beard. You don't have a hat. You don't have a cane. You don't have a cane. This guy or this guy? Oh, and a bow tie. Yeah, he doesn't have a bow tie. He doesn't have a cane. Beard, hat, cane, bow tie, no glasses. And now to test my theory. Smile. And there we have it. Good eye. The wind tried to carry off Mr. Anderson's hat. Oh, he's bald. I didn't even notice. I thought he was just wearing like a like a cap or something. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's so small. He's so cute. My dear mother once searched after the very box you speak of. That's what her daughter's going after. Her grandmother. He founded this village. Oh. Sacrifices. Hmm? Mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries. Why are we heading back to the train station? Hi, Nick. You're back. <laughs> oh, it's the daughter. He's going on the train with us, okay. How convenient. Behind, 
Uh oh, she's lost. Uh oh, she's kidnapped. Oh no. Oh. Um. No. Oh dear, something's wrong. Man named Rami was looking around after the other. It's fine. <laughs> Top-notch intelligence. Professor Luke and Flora decide to look for Romy and talk to him. Oh boy, a box puzzle, my favorite. Tetris! More Tetris! Using the white cubes as standard units, the box is two cubes wide by three cubes long by two cubes tall. Three of them can be placed together in the box to fill it to the top with no gaps. No gaps! But the fit shape, the fit, the shape that fit, the doesn't shape in the fit. <laughs> Obviously, it's D. Like, hello. Consider this puzzle solved. It's so easy. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. You just look at it. Look at that. As you can tell, it's not D because it doesn't fit in with the other ones. You can't fit it together. It was not hard, it was extremely easy. Holy moly, you must become kind of puzzle genius. <laughs> that silly box of yours. Here. Hey, everyone gets all pissy when you mention the box. Two boxes shown below are actually the same box shown from two different angles. Using the visible faces, reassemble the pattern of the box by placing the tiles into the unfolded view of the box. Each tile needs to go in the correct square facing the correct direction. Oh no. So this goes here. That. This goes like that. And 
And then this the car is here. Which means that the Spade is here. I'm so confused. I hate boxes. Especially a Legion box. A hint that will hopefully not confuse you further. Please give me, please. Please. I hate box. Both of the shapes you placed her in the wrong spot. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, cause this is facing this way. So right off the bat you need to look at it from a different angle. Try to imagine or draw which edges will be glued together when this is folded. I was imagining that you'd... Which edges will be glued together. I don't know how to make a cube. It's like, this will be the bottom, right? This will be the side. This will be this side. So, this will be the heart here. This is the heart. That means that this, yeah, and you fold this here. This goes this side, and this is on this side. So this is going to be flipped. Upside down. And this is correct, yes. So... Where does the triangle go? I hate triangles. I hate triangle. Hmm. having a trouble okay so right uh when you did this no there's the one wait it'll be the one on the back side of this so it's here but where is it rotated It's like this, right? This is correct, isn't it? I think it is. 
And the arrow is pointing at the person. The person go here. And which direction does it go? Uh, like this. So what is on the opposite side of the triangle? The circle, because the circle is not on any of these. So the circle go here. I believe. No, here. No, here. Yeah, here. Yes. And then the club. Oh boy. Uh <laughs> This one's tricky. This is the hard one. I'm rotating it in my mind. No, oh, I can't imagine anything. I can't imagine a square. I'm so bad at imagining a cube. Why is there a club, a spade, and a heart, but there's no diamond? There's a man. You're gonna be a cube master by the end of this. I am. I'm already a cube master. That's why I'm having so much... That's why I, this puzzle is so easy. This is so easy. I'm doing so well. I think you need to put this upside down. No one has ever beaten this puzzle before. I can imagine it. I'm imagining it. Do it like this. You do it like this. do it like this, and the spade and the club will be facing the same direction. This is what we want. Do we want it to be facing the same direction? I think so, right? This is the solution. down pointing right 
running towards the man. The club and the spade are on opposite sides of the box. You just have to look at the triangle. Figure out. about this cube <laughs> I think it's this Taking a screenshot of what I have in case I'm wrong. I'm submitting this. Final answer. Consider this puzzle solved. Oh my cube. Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. My cube. Taking a hint is. Fuck you. Oh, it keeps the same answer I have. Getting sus out. Shit, idiot. Sus. I'm pretty confident I have all these in the right orientation except for the club. Upside down. Upside down. One second. Was I doing this like this? But it's not like that. It's not correct. Do it like this.
is so hard to imagine. Hang on, I'm taking my piece of paper again. I'm making a cube paper. This is now an arts and crafts stream, so true. DIY cute, five easy steps. Let me take five minutes. I don't even have a garbage can in my room right now, so. I'm going to have to throw this on my desk the rest of the Okay, I've got a sort of vague cube shape. Okay, now I need a pencil. Uh, where's my pencil? Where's my good pencil? There it is. What's wrong with this? I have the heart and the triangle. It's the club is exactly upside down. Boom. Consider this puzzle solved. Yay! Arts and crafts wins again. 
Wonderful. It was very hard. It was so hard that I gave up. <laughs> Hang me on the laundry line and call me a bath mat. Please don't do that. I wouldn't talk about that box in these parts. But why? Okay, thanks. Was it hard converting the 2D image to a 3D object in your hands? Oh boy. Okay, I'm actually gonna get up for a second. Um, it has been three hours. So I'm gonna be right back. I need to eat some- I need to eat more crackers. I'll be right back.
Hi. I'm back. I ate a crackers. Now, I'm going to eat a coins. I'm going to look around. I'm going to eat a puzzle. I'm going to look for my puzzle. You have puzzle. Fight this puzzles. It's a wrap. Ooh. Remember to wrap the flower just like the leftmost drawing. How should you begin your wrapping? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm gonna pull out the paper again. <laughs> no. Bite this puzzles. Alright, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Should have brought a pair of scissors when I went out to the kitchen. on one side. Wait. Do this. How do you fold a piece of Yeah, there's a lot of those puzzles. I'm not good at that. I, this is one of the things I'm bad at. <laughs> okay, so... Oh my god, I'm just gonna... Like, what is this? Is this in one corner and this is in the other corner? in the wrapping paper will be obscured obscured as you roll the paper thank you that's a useful hint you've just thrown away the hint what's the difference between b and c these look the same to me how are these not the same
I have my Discord notifications on. This piece of paper a mess. Okay, I think it's B because C folds in the wrong direction. I think. Go with B. And now to test my theory. Fuck you. Ah, uh, well. Well, I then it's C because there was more. only two choices. Thank you, Professor. And now I hate this puzzle. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And there we have it. Whatever you say. I was not able to follow it. Fuck you. I can't follow anything. I got a new hamster toy. I get one scoop of each of the three ingredients. Yeah, I know. Obviously. And that's the second one I made. I already did these. What did you just say? Daughter's been kicking some big secret. She sure has. Hey. It's the mailman. Hints, I love hints. Which house where? Oh boy, where are these? Lower houses A, B, C, and D, each of which is a different color. Decipher which house's color is which from the following clues. Okay, okay, okay. These are these look like arrows, but they're houses. Oh, cute. A house like this. Could put a door here. Red house is closer to the pine tree than the blue house. The yellow house is closer to the lake than the green house. The green house is closer to the tower lines than the blue house. D is either D is either yellow, blue, or green. D isn't red. So red is either B or C.
house is closer to the lake than the Closer to the lake? I don't think it's B closer to the lake than A? Hard to tell. Look the same distance. D is either yellow, blue, or green, and it can't be green, because then blue would be closer to the, the power line. D is either yellow or blue. It can't be blue, because then the blue house would be closer to the pine tree. has to be yellow. So it has to be this. This should do the trick. Okay. Hard to tell if A and D are farther apart the from the lake. Now, do you have any more puzzle? Communicate with those cows. Flag puzzle! You have a pristine white flag that you want to color into three sections as shown below. You have three paints. No two adjacent sections of the flag can be the same color. Each section can only be one color. Can't 
can't change the number or size of these sections. If you aren't allowed to mix paint, how am I visiting flag designs that are possible? Okay, well. Oh boy. So. White flag is a distinct design, so there's one right off the bat. And then you can do paint one section blue, paint the right section blue, and paint the right section green, and then paint the right section red. And then the same with the middle and the left. And then you can also paint two sections the same color. Paint these two the same color. You can't paint adjacent sections the same color, but you can put paint these two the same color. You get three more. And you can do A, B, C. Do B C A A C B C A C C A B one and C B A six Yeah, so three, six, nine, twelve, twelve plus six is eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen is my answer. Let me look at it a bit more, just in case. Oh no, because then you can do like A, B, and leave this blank. Oh god. I'm really wishing they actually let you use the colors, yeah. Be like A, B, and then leave this blank. You could do A, B, you could do B, A, you could do A, C, and you could do C, A, you could do B, C, and you could do C, B. That's six. Times three, because there's three places you can do that in. Is eighteen. So nineteen plus eighteen. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Seven, final answer. Hmm, let's see if this works. Fuck. Well, I'm stumped. Ooh, why not? 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 
If it's a pure white flag, just leave it as it is, which is one. And then if you just paint the right section, there's three, one for each color. And then you can also just paint the middle section, just paint the left section, so that's nine. And then you can paint the left and the right, that's three more. Then you have... Uh... 13, just from... You have 13, just from using one color or no colors. Then when you use all three colors at once, then you can go A, B, C. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Fuck, I never thought about that. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And so does this. So does this, then. We just color one side. We just color one side, and these two are adjacent white. Okay, so get rid of the right one, and the left one, and the all white. You can color one in the middle. Okay, okay. Alright, so then you have six, twelve plus eighteen. Twelve plus eighteen is thirty. Thirty final answer? No, thirty. Just leave it to me. Oh, oh my pickarats. Well, I'm stumped. My pickarats, professor. My pickarats all fell down the drain. <clears throat> really, you have four colors. Let me start over. You can color in one section, color the middle section with one color. That gives you three possibilities. You can color in the right and the left section with one color. That gives you three more possibilities. this one color and this a different color leave this one white so that gives you six possibilities for this you can color in a b you can color in b a you can color it in a c in c a Color in B A B C or B B A B A C B A A B B A A C C A B C C B six possibilities for this. They can also do one white two. That's six more possibilities. You can also do white two. Six more possible. And then there's if we use all three of the paints. One, two, three. Then you could do A B C. A C B B A C B C A 
C A B or C B A. That's six more possibilities. Six times four is twenty-four plus six is thirty. Why is it not thirty? not six I can't count hang on wait it is six yes it is a b c a c b I can count I can count and you do b a c B A. Then you have C A B C A. But then you could do like C A C as well. Oh, fuck. Uh! Yeah, that's I'm talking one, two, three possibilities, but I forgot to consider one, two, one possibilities. Right, I forgot to consider one, two, one possibility. So those are A, B, A, A, C, A, B, A, B, C, B, B, A, C, and C, B, C. That's six more. So it's 36. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't remember that. You're so smart. You're so smart. You're so smart. Should be 36, I think. Thirty-six final answer. Here it goes. Yay! Piece of cake. Piece of flag. Yeah, that would be a smart way to do it. That's fine. That is a mean puzzle, you're right. It's so mean. The rudest puzzle I've ever seen. Any more puzzle? Any more puzzle in this town? Do you have anything? No. Darn. I guess we gotta go then. Off we go, off we go, off we go. Oh no, what's the dilemma? Should we tell him?
<laughs> Get a hold of yourself. Yeah, what the fuck? Or perhaps the train ticket with no destination on it, maybe? Like, where, where we're going? What's the whole train ticket we have? Right, that's the train ticket we got. Alright, back to the train we go. Hello. Yow! You've got at least 30 puzzles under your belt. Get back on the train. It won't let me in. How do I get in? Oh, there you go. Alright, I have to solve this puzzle. Sammy has eight chains, seven links each. Okay. Wants to connect all those chains to make a totally awesome necklace that's a single loop. The jeweler says he can open and close a single link for two dollars. I'm confused. How could you do it differently? There's a trick of puzzle. See here. You need to... I need to link these... Eight links in each small chain is a crucial clue that will help you solve the puzzle. Hmm. Okay. 
It's a surprise tool. Seven links in each. How does that help? How is that? this help how is this help how is this help me how is it how is it help me I do really love this illustration. That's just what I was thinking, just as I got the hint. You haven't only been opening the links on the ends of each small chain, have you? Oh, you silly little goose. Well, like, how would that be helpful? Get this, and you've got more small chains. How does that help? Help me. Oh. Well, you've just given me the answer, haven't you? Seven times two, that's fourteen. You've just given me the answer, thank you. That's useful. Oh my god, please. This should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Score! The necklace of his dreams for only fourteen dollars. Uh oh. Oh, I missed some puzzles. That's okay. I missed four old puzzles. Oh, cutscene. Mm -hmm. oh. Where's Flora? Oh, it's the daughter. There she goes. Thank she got purple hair. So much. Yeah, purple hair. What's going on over there? I believe we may have stumbled upon Mr. Anderson's dear daughter. That's one heck of a send-off. Considering the size of the party, I doubt she's just going on holiday. Hmm. Where is she headed? Uh oh, scary noises, woo! The perfectly normal town of Luxembourg. All right, well, we're back on the train. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to stop. We had a lot of fun with puzzles. I have to get up early tomorrow, so I should go. Thank you everybody for coming. We're back on the train. Choo-choo.
train is moving again. This is great news. Make sure. Uh, what was I gonna say? Thank you, thank you for coming. And if you're not following, you should follow me. You should do it. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. It's it makes your day ten times better. And goodbye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.